Hello, everyone. Welcome to Smart Investing. I'm Albert, your host. And today, this video, it's going to be a little different from my regular videos. So I want to talk about a contest that I joined. Uh, basically, it's a contest for three months. And I believe it's going to be a reoccurring contest. So first quarter is going to be January, February, and March. So basically at the end of March, I have to have the highest percentage, not the highest amount. It goes by percentage. So basically the gains that I've got overall, uh, and that's above the S&P 500 as well. So the overall gains by percentage, not by amount, but I want to challenge myself and also do uh, the amount as well. So this contest that I joined, I found out about this contest from one of my favorite channels that I watch. The channel is called Let's Talk Money with Joseph Hogue. I'm sure some of you have heard of him or watched his channel. He's really good at what he does. Uh, he does fundamental analysis. He jumps right into a company, uh, talks about their earnings a little bit of their revenue. He uses Yahoo Finance. Um, he uses multiple uh, apps uh, the way I do it as well, but I'm sure he has more uh, access because I'm cheap, by the way. Um, I'm sure he has a bunch of subscriptions on um, different applications and stuff that he uses. And um, I just do what I do. I try to use free applications, try to find the best and most informative and most accurate, detailed information that I can get. So um, I can see the similar uh, comparison that, that we both have. Um, but I also do also uh, technicals. I don't really talk about the technicals too much on my channel. Uh, to be honest, um, what I can say is that everybody's decision and risk tolerance is different. So the way I risk take is it's pretty, I wouldn't say pretty high. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's medium, sometimes it's low. It just depends on the overall market, what I'm wanting to do. And, you know, the, the comfort level as well. It's hard to explain, but... Um, it has to do with the sentiment and the trend and, you know, just with what's going on lately. Uh, overall, it's just a lot of things to digest. But um, the overall market uh, lately, it seems like on a bearish trend. So um, let me jump right into uh, how I found out about this contest. And then I will introduce that and introduce the contest that I've entered and this is pretty much a progress report video of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and uh, whatever else I can share on this channel. So let's jump right into this. So basically, I have this channel. This is how he announced it. It was announced about uh, three weeks ago. As you can see here, this is the channel. So this was three weeks ago, and this was the introduction about the contest. Demand for loans, but, but that could start to change in 2022, and it's going to further drive those earnings for the banks. we still got one more stock I'm buying, but I'm excited to announce our first Bowtie Nation portfolio contest. I'm giving you the chance to create your own portfolio, beat the Bowtie Nation, and win prizes and cash of over $1,000. This is how it's going to work. Click through the link to stock card I'll leave in the description below. You'll find the portfolios here in the drop-down menu, and click on New Portfolio. Besides the name and the description, for your portfolio, select contest and then Bowtie Nation as your portfolio goal. That's going to put you on the page with all the contest portfolios ranked by returns. Publish it and manage the portfolio until March 31st. And you can buy or sell stocks in your portfolio. It's all simulated, so totally free to participate. The top portfolio at the end of March will win $250 in cash and a one year VIP access to Stock Card and your choice of one of my video courses. 
he either learned to trade stocks or our goals-based investing course. The top five portfolios are also going to win my complete portfolio and stock comparison spreadsheet. So look for the link below and don't forget to use the promo code Bowtie Nation if you sign up. Bed Bath and Beyond. Tick so basically, that's exactly what I did. Uh, I saw that video about three weeks ago and basically I opened up a stock card portfolio. As you can see, this was just three weeks ago. Um, so I'm sure he updated it. So basically, okay, I, this is free to, and again, um, just like he said, this, this, uh, website is free. Uh, you just join with your email. You can also use your Facebook, link it up, uh, Google, I believe also you have free access to that. Um, so anyways, it's a free site. I love free stuff. Um, I love a little bit of competition as well. That's fine with me. Um, again, I'm good at what I do. Uh, I think I'm pretty good at teaching as well. So I hope you guys do again. I, I always say this. I hope you guys learn a thing or two from my channel. I hope, uh, what I bring to the table and what I show and say to my videos. I hope that people learn from it and take some value with it. Again, um, sometimes markets can be tough, but you just have to, uh, I'd say this, um, uh, pretty much not be too emotional because if you want to be, um, uh, good at this, you can't let a lot of emotions get to you. A win is a win. A loss is a loss. Take it or leave it. If you lose, learn from it, do better. Always challenge yourself. Always reward yourself for things that you do right. If you do it wrong, then it's fine. There's always more chances to uh, do better. So again, I opened this uh, site. I signed up actually months when he first um, mentioned it. And I only took a look at it, I think around maybe, um, I'd say August or September, something like that. So basically, I never used it up until now, until January. So now that I'm using it, um, he's Joseph, you're killing me. He wants me to use it, I guess now. So now uh, I hope this is a frequent competition because, um, again, I think I bring a lot to the table. I, I know how to use technicals and fundamentals uh, as a good advantage. Uh, I've been doing this for... Uh, a few years now. I'm not really new to the market, but I'm not. I'm not really uh, an expert. Uh, the reason I say I'm not an expert is because I'm not licensed or insured. But I'm pretty. Again, I'm pretty damn good at what I do. Um, because I've learned a lot from over the years from people that are very successful, and the reason to that is because I've I. I literally watch so many channels and I learned from them and I learned people that are already successful with uh, successful businesses or people that have actually managed money um, with actual reports and, you know, not just talking, actually proving and showing me that um, they have what it takes and I'll show with their reports that, that I've seen. I don't, I don't really like to see... Uh, people just talk about their success without having any proof uh, to back it up. So anyways, I'm talking too much. I just thought I'd share that real quick. So um, <clears throat> so as we can see here, these are creator portfolios. So basically, Joseph is at the top. Today is January 28th, 517. I'm on the East Coast in Florida. So... With this being, I'm pretty sure this is updated. I don't know uh, if the update has to do with time zones. But again, I guess in a few hours, the update will catch up. So today is the, again, to January 28th on the East Coast. It is 5.17 p.m. And he is up 20%. And this is the contest that I'm in. This is another contest that uh, this is... Uh, from the website. So we have Brian's contest. I'm not in that one. There's a lot of people in that one. Um, and I, <clears throat> excuse me. 
I've looked at the Bryant's contest. There's a lot of people losing, and there's a lot of people losing, including myself as of right now in the Bowtie Nation contest. But I will say this. I'm not down by much, and I intend to be in the top five because of this reason only. This is the only giveaway I will get. It's not a secret. It's nothing new. It's, it's not new information. The only thing that I have noticed and I do analyze pretty well is because a lot of people, this was my actual portfolio right here. As you can see, that's my portfolio right there. I'll give away two words, active management. Reason being is because when I look at these portfolios, let me click on this and, and show you a sample. I want to I wanna just show you guys something and show you my analysis that I always do. A lot of these portfolios are not being actively managed. What I mean by that is, and, and don't get me wrong, I fell into this trap too. So basically in January, I chose a couple high profile stocks. I think I chose uh, Berkshire Hathaway, the B class. And then I chose two mid caps and two small caps. This was the first week of January. I was up in the first week of January. I don't know how much I was up by. I'm not, I don't care about the amount. We're going by percentage. I was up on percentage. Now, into the second week of January... The market was already down. So I didn't think nothing nothing of it. I thought, okay, maybe it's a down week. Whatever. It happens. Going into the third week, midweek, around Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when people were announcing, and I did notice, a lot of stocks were pretty much down for the majority of that month. So this is exactly what I did. I had to sell everything, cut my losses, and say, you know what? Instead of picking stocks and letting them ride out for weeks on end and months on end, I have to get in this and pretty much have to start day trading and pretty much be very active with the stocks. So basically, in a downtrend, as you can see, a lot of these portfolios, yeah, they're up. But what I can say is this. They're not being actively managed. I only looked at the positive ones, the ones that were by percentage. And a lot of these people have not even updated their portfolio. So, again, not, I didn't think nothing of it. That's only that contest. Now, I look at this contest. I'm analyzing. So, again, so... This is the deadline I have until March 31st. We all do. So now take a look at this. 53 portfolios. Okay, I'm number five at the moment. You look at all these portfolios. I'm not criticizing. It's just a decision I made and a perspective that I see. This is something that is going on that's wrong that I see. So... I'm making my own corrections. I cut my losses and I'm doing what I can to improve the performance, the percentage and the total amount so I can win this and at least be in the top five and learn from this. All these portfolios, this one, this one, this one, all these portfolios, all of them. And I'm telling you all of them, all of them. I've seen them all. I just, I've ran through all 53. They're not being actively managed. The last time I've seen an update, an actual update, um, if they do update it, they're not updating it enough. So that tells me a lot of these people or a lot of people don't know how to do technical analysis. They might know a thing or two or they might say they know how to do it, but they're not gaining anything on it. Uh, that's my analysis on it, and it only tends to prove uh, what I'm seeing and my point. 
So as you can see, the last time I'm updating my portfolio, I'm doing this every day. And let me tell you, I'm not taking a lot of trades. I'm not doing any wild moves, sudden moves. I'm not making stupid mistakes. Uh, I'm taking it day by day. But I'm following the market. If the market is going down already, you might as well start being bearish and start picking stocks and picking trends that are going down. Uh, that's one thing that I can also say that's an obvious move. You don't want to go against the market. The market is the smartest teacher out there. Everyone might say, I know the mar market, this and that, but no one is smarter than the market. So you have to, I wouldn't say not only beat the market, but you have to align yourself and your mindset with the market. The only real winner every day in this market is the market. Not me, not anybody else. You have to be a smarter investor. And it's simple. These simple little basic tactics and techniques and strategies, uh, this is something that almost anybody can learn and anybody can do. Um, that is my advice to anybody that can or will want to learn uh, about technicals or trying to have things in their favor when it comes to the market. I get it. It's frustrating when you when people first start. Oh, the market's going up. It's going down. Oh, I'm losing. Oh, forget this. I'll check in next week. And 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 then it's problem after problem. And then um, what I tend to realize, and I did this because of my work ethic. I tend to organize what I do, analyze what I do. Everything I do is step by step. I do baby steps. I don't go from one to a million, which I've seen people do on here. So this is an analysis report. Uh, one month, uh, second month, by the end of February, I'll, I'll probably do another progress report. And third month, uh, hopefully I'm still in the top five. I'm sure I will be. Um, again, I'm dedicated to winning. And um, hopefully people even see this channel and uh, they learn something from it. So I know I'm talking too much, but I just, I'm, I'm very passionate about this because um, it, it sucks. You know, people want to earn money, but then you lose money. You know, that's the way market works. We're here to earn money, but you know, sometimes, you know, risk and reward uh, doesn't carry the same way you make your decision. Uh, so I'm here to just, um, I wouldn't say advise, but I'm here to just help you out pretty much just like a lot of other channels that are out there. If you like my channel, then go ahead. It's fine. If you like other channels, that's fine too. Uh, so again, uh, what I notice these top winners, the guys that are winning. So let me just point out real quick, this one, this one, and this one, these guys are not, uh, day trading. They're not really stock picking. They just picked an ETF to beat the overall market, and that's why they're up. Um, this guy is the only guy that seems like a competition to me. Everybody else um, it seems like they were stock picking, and they're not really active. Um, the only one that seemed active and that seemed pretty good is this guy, Ivan Ivanov. Um He's, I think he's made some great picks. Um, he's definitely a high risk taker like me. Uh, but he's, he's taken, um, I mean, again, it's crazy. Uh, he's made some great picks, but it's just, he, he, I don't know how active he's going to be, but this week he doesn't seem like he's updated his stuff. Uh, his portfolio amount is pretty high like mine's. And um, his percentage ain't too bad. I mean, he's in the winning. So, again, you saw he chose an ETF. Now, these two guys here, him and him, they pretty much chose the same uh, ETF. And all they did, they're, again, they're not actively managing. And I'm going to show you my strategy as to what I'm doing. Um. I don't want to say too much, but I, I will say this. 
and then I, I will I'll show you a little bit. I don't like sharing everything. I only like showing some uh, because um, that's what makes me win. And again, um, I don't know everybody's risk tolerance and reward and timeline. So again, everybody's decision is different. So to each their own. Um, I can only share my experience and just simple basic knowledge and tactics. So we can see here uh, the amount I'm not too crazy about. This I'm not too crazy about. I'm not really looking at that. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm paying attention to this year. So as we can see here, uh, this is the stock that has the highest gain. Seems like a popular stock. So we have this one. <coughs> Pro shares at 30%. So now we go back. And that's how he's winning. Now this guy too. Same thing. Looking at this. Changes. Last time he updated. January 13th. Okay, that doesn't seem active enough. Once you start losing and losing even more, that's when you just take the loss and improve on it. That's exactly what I did. So again, I was up that first week in January and now I'm down. As we can see here, another stock picker hasn't changed it. He's winning. Guess what? I'm not choosing that ETF. Why? Because I need to actively manage. There is an easy way out and that is the easy way out. You're not, I'm not, I'm not challenging. If I was in his shoes, I'm not challenging myself. I'm not really learning anything. I'm not improving. I'm not seeing what's what. I'm not seeing what's good in the market, what's bad, what trends are around, uh, which sector's doing good. Uh, people just, it, I mean, this this is not a game, to be honest. Some people think uh, stock market uh, and picking stocks is a game. Oh, let me let me choose this and that. Um, when you start putting your own money and your real money and your life savings, it takes an impact. It hurts. People do not like losing money. People do not like being broke when they're retired. People do not like being in debt, owing somebody something. It it sucks. I've been there. <laughs> I don't I don't like being in that position. Um. So I think that's why I'm very serious about uh, stocks because I care about uh, businesses. I do care about not losing money and gaining money. What's out there? What's working? What's not working? Um, and on both sides, again, I do technical and fundamental al analysis. So what I'm saying is that uh, a lot of these portfolios overall, this contest and this contest, if you add that up, 440 plus, what, 50, that's at least close to uh, 500 uh, stocks. I mean, stocks, stock uh, stock portfolios. So we have about, let round it off to 500. We have about 500 portfolios, right? And only probably two people, me and probably somebody else, that's uh, this guy, and hopefully he does get on and update. So basically, I'm really me. I'm the only one that is actively managing my portfolio. Everybody's doing every two weeks, every three weeks, checking in and out. Oh, I'm doing okay. If you care about this, if you care about your life savings or income, you do not want to ruin it. You want to save it and keep it for what it is. Because when something starts going downhill and it gets worse, if you don't put a stop to it, it's just only going to get worse. That's um. That's a common uh, idea. That's just a common sense, to be honest. Um, 
I'm just stating the obvious because people tend to forget what is obvious and what is common sense and what works and what doesn't work. So again, I'm creating, you know, a realistic perspective as to what is going on, what I see and what needs to be improved. So again, I am actively managing my portfolio. So I don't want to see that. Let me just uh, look at my research and I will show you uh, my portfolio. So basically, 16 stocks. Yeah. So what can I say? So I am what you call a high risk taker. You can see this. That's a really high amount. It takes years to get to do that risk taking. This info here, I do not like to provide because I like to keep it secret. I like you guys to watch my channel and learn. Um, I do see that that's something that I don't like sharing because I don't like making things too easy. When I make things too easy, it's like, oh, I heard about that already. There's no curiosity. I want people to learn and be curious about what's going on. So again, hopefully I get more clicks and, and views for my channel. That's why um, that link and my handle, it leads right to my channel. So this is basically my portfolio. I was day trading and I was doing this at work. Hopefully I don't get fired, but I'm sure I won't because I do this on my break anyway. So again, Berkshire Hathaway, I had that in week one. Sigma Lithium, I had that in week one. Universal Insurance, I had that in week one. MP, I had that in week uh, two, I believe. No, sorry. Sigma, I added in week two. UVE, I added in week two. MP, I added in week two. And Cactus Inc., I added in week two. Then in week three, the beginning of week three... We had maybe Monday and Tuesday. I let it slide, whatever. Then that middle of the week in week three, that's when I was like, okay, now overall I'm losing. So I'm going to cut it short. Let's get active. Sold everything in the portfolio. I was down maybe 8%. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a number. 8%. Went into the day trading mode, active mode, fully managed. Had to do some YMM. They traded that. As you can see, these percentages might seem a lot. But again, I'm highly accurate. I know my track record. I'm not going to say how accurate, but um, highly accurate. A little above 90% accuracy when I day trade. Uh, I will say this. I don't take a lot of trades. I take big trades, but I don't take a lot. I don't do like 50 trades in one day. I wait for trends and momentum and strength. And I use uh, speed in my process. Um, everything might seem difficult for somebody new that is learning, but once it takes practice and it takes, I mean, not just a few months, it takes a few years to practice this. Once you learn that and get that, um, you can be profitable, but it's just a rare chance for people to take it all in and have patience and discipline. Some people might agree, some people might disagree. You don't need patience or whatever. Uh, I had to do some high frequency trading, some high profile trading. A few weeks later, I traded Berkshire Hathaway, small gains, <clears throat> nothing crazy, quick profits. Netflix, 
up 3%. These small gains over time, they're going to get me into positive territory. Because again, all these negatives I had to do, <coughs> cut my losses short and go fully active. I did Amazon um, the next day. I, for, I forgot that was, uh, what week are we in? Are we still in week three? No, we're in week four, sorry. So this was all week four. Starting with YM, YMM. That was uh, last week towards the end of week three. So when I say week three, that's from like um, the 21st to today. So we have Amazon, NVIDIA. NVIDIA um, was tricky for me, but I gained it again. Uh, Seagate Technology. Uh, I did that yesterday. And Tesla. I did that one today. The reason being I got these gains was because I'm going with the market. I'm going with the downtrend. So once I see a downtrend, I can't explain it. I can't really show you. It takes too long for, for me to explain that and show you that. But I'm going with the trend. The overall market trend right now is negative. Yeah, day to day it goes up and down, but these past few weeks, if you add it all up, week to week, it's been going down. I'm not going to bet going up and I see the market going down. I just, I don't see no point in that. Because um, again, the first week I was up, it was in an uptrend, I let it ride, cut it off short, now we have to go down. Until I see confirmation that the market is going up again, which I don't see anytime soon. So, basically, um... Let me move my channel picture. So yeah, basically, um, I use the site. I like the site. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I would use that this often unless we'll see the VIP access. If hopefully I win in the top five, <coughs> hopefully there's more useful information. Um, I don't plan on using stock card every day, but I will use it. Um, I have preferred, <clears throat> excuse me. I have preferred platforms that I use instead of those applications. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I can say. Uh, I like Webull. I use Robinhood. A uh, stock card, eh, time to time. I'll see how it is over time. But again, um, please don't invest in the stock market. I mean, if you're going to invest in the stock market, talk to somebody who's licensed and insured, somebody that uh, actually manages your portfolio. I don't manage any portfolios. I'm not licensed or insured. So please look at that or at least get some info from somebody or a channel or something. Um, again, people are more than welcome to learn from my channel. So um, again, my results are not typical from anybody else's. Uh, each decision that I make is careful and accurate and pretty much thought out and planned out. So um, again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and wish me luck, you guys. Um, hopefully I can win it all in the top five. I, I definitely want to be in the top five. That's a, that's my goal. Uh, hopefully we have more contests like this. Uh, I appreciate a little bit more feedback from people. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video. Um, any questions, comments, you guys can always ask me. Uh, I don't really give comments on other channels, but, um, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one and wish me luck. I'm planning to win it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.